everybody. I'm going to do a night routine with little Emily tonight. And we're going to change her into these little pajamas that say cutest cowgirl on them. There, there's nothing cowgirl related on, on it at all, which I think is kind of funny. But she is still in her Halloween costume. She was Minnie Mouse, and she just looks adorable in this outfit. <laughs> Crazy hair. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Emily. She is Esme by Laura Lee Eagles, and she was actually not planned. Um, when I adopted her, it was kind of on a, kind of just on a whim. Um, I loved the, I loved the Esme kit, and, you know, I looked into getting one a little bit, but, um, I, you know, I was expecting to pay a lot more than I did for her because it is a limited edition kit, and um, they were pretty expensive. All the dolls that I saw were pretty expensive, and everyone who gave me an estimate for a custom was pretty expensive as well. So I actually, the artist that did her, I have her nursery bookmarked on my computer, and um, I, check, I check it every now and again. And so I checked it, and she had, and then she did an Esme. And I was like, oh my god, she did an Esme, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get her, I want her. Well, you know, I looked on her page, and I, you know, read up on her, and researched her, and then, you know, looked at more, looked at her detailing, and, um, decided that, you know, I, I really want her, because she was very well done, and, um, so I adopted her, and there the only problem was that I pay a little more than the asking price because I wanted to get the magnets taken out of her head and I wanted to get her eyes changed from uh, brown to blue because she originally had brown eyes and I wanted her to have blue eyes. So um, I got her eye color changed and her magnets taken out and so she was really pretty after that. So um, trying not to show her parts here because she is full body anatomical. So, uh, so, like, I was very excited to get her, and I got her, I was very excited when she actually came, and, um, and, you know, she was beautiful and everything, but her eyelashes were not rooted, like I thought they were. I guess I misread the listing. And, um, so they're not rooted, they are false, they're glued on, and I wasn't very happy about that because when I got her, her eyelashes were kind of bent, and so I was very disappointed. So I contacted the artist about that, and she said that it probably happened in travel, that it was not, it was not like that when she packed her and shipped her, and so it probably happened in travel, and she told me how I could fix them. So I did what she told me to do, and I fixed them the best that I could, and they were fine. But not long after that, they started bending again, and now the one is completely almost falling off. So I actually contacted the artist who did Charlotte, and she said that she could fix them for me, which I'm very thankful for because I really don't want her to keep... have to have these eyelashes that are, that are not really fitting her, that aren't really working for her. So, um, thankfully Charlotte's artist is kind enough to do that for me. Um, I have not gotten that done yet. She's been really busy, uh, with other babies and very busy with her children's lives and stuff. So I've not got that done yet, but I will soon. And... Other than that, I'm really happy with her, but I also feel like there's barely any weight in her head because her head is very light and, um, you know, I wish she had more weight in her head because I feel like I treat her rougher than I do my other dolls. So, um, Charlotte's artist also said that she could add some weight to her head because there f it feels like there is slim to none in her head, which I'm not very happy about, but... You know, hopefully that can be fixed. Alright, so here's Miss Emily ready for bed.
we're gonna give her a bottle and uh, then we'll, we're gonna give her her bottle and then she'll be ready to go to sleep. Okay guys, Emily is here drinking her bottle. I usually give her a 9 ounce bottle at night, but I don't fill it up all the way so it's usually more like 7 ounces. Um, she usually drinks most, all, mostly all of it, but I like to give her big bottles at night because she usually sleeps longer and it's easier for her to go to sleep so she doesn't wake up in the middle of the night with a feeding. She's actually getting really good at sleeping through the night, so that's always a plus, and I think it's been helping me giving her bigger bottles at night because she's been sleeping really well, only waking up like two to three times a night, so that's always good. Um, usually it's more like two times a night now, but yeah, she's a very good sleeper, and she's just getting better and better, and... So she pretty much devours her bottles. She's chowing down right now. She's got her cute bib on that says, If you think I'm cute, you should see my aunt that Aunt Jessie got her. So, yeah, I'm just going to let her finish this up. Alright, so I got Emily here, and she did some good burps. So now I'm going to rock her and sing to her a little bit. I'm sorry about... The lighting changing this much. I guess the camera just won't focus very well. So, uh, my sister just got back from Fort Lauderdale today, and we're very happy to have her home. So I'm going to sing Falling Slowly by Glenn Hansart and Marketa Ergodova from the movie and, and now musical Once. I'm going to go ahead and sing to her. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I want you all the more for that. Words fall through, always through, and I can't react. Games that never Sing a 